Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Chanel. I'm a resident movie watcher and BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel. Those are the facts and I'm sticking with them. I like to watch movies and provide my commentary. I'll let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them. Love the chit chat, love the chatter. And if you like it, you stick around. And if you don't like it, kindly click off without commenting, please. Or comment for, comment for the algorithm anyway. You know what? Say whatever you want, it's free country. Today's video is Heat. It's been a long time coming. Heat from 1995. Everyone's always talking about it. I think this is one that just needs to live on my channel. I think we've done a criminally low amount, like heisty type stuff on the channel. I will admit, this is the exact kind of movie, move me, this is the exact kind of movie I would have avoided back in the day. A lot of you are like, hey Chanel, how can you claim you like movies and you haven't seen a lot of this would, this would be one I'd avoid. I don't like action films. I get really confused and I lose track of people's personas and names and characters. And you know, there's a lot of men on computers saying stuff and I just don't get it. I don't get it. So you might watch me be a little bit confused or you might not. If the filmmaking is good, it's usually a breeze to pay attention. I know nothing about Heat. I know absolutely nothing. I'm gonna say heist film, that's all I'm gonna say. And I know it's a big deal because I think some of you have told me it is the first time Pacino and De Niro are together. I think the people wanted to see De Niro and Pacino on screen together and I think this made it happen, right? They're not in The Godfather together. I don't think so, I've only seen Godfather 1. So written directed by Michael Mann, unfamiliar right off the bat with that director just by name. Maybe we can find something of his that I've seen. Collateral, nope. Miami Vice, oh God, we have a lot to see, don't we, you guys? You guys are gonna hate me for that. Comment below, do I need to see more Michael Mann? All right, I hate chit-chatting about these because I don't wanna know anything. I see uh, Michael Mann and I see LAPD. I think it'd be really cool if Pacino and De Niro are adversaries, but then they come together. I think that'd be really cool, but I don't know. Are they on the same team? Are they on different teams? Are they enemies? Do they work together? All the above sounds cool. It's 95, I'm expecting peak, peak, peak dialogue. I'm hoping the script is tight and I'm hoping that I understand it. So if you wanna see my full length reaction to this, as well as hundreds of others, you can hit that link in my description box below. Other ways to support me below. It'd be awesome if you commented. It'd be awesome if you liked. It might even be awesome if you subscribed but I'm not gonna force your hand. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is Heat from 1995. Pacino, De Niro, Richie Damn, I put the volume up right over the Heat title card, Chanel. Val Kilmer, love to see ya, buddy. Love to see ya. Yep, Los Angeles. Definitely. Natalie freaking Portman? Shut up. How old is she in this? That's our guy. One of our guys. Uh, comment below. Pacino or De Niro? Pick one. I want to hear it. And John freaking Voight. Damn. Dream team. This is a dream team. I knew it. I was about to say, it feels like surveillance right now. Like we're sizing up a situation. And that high angle down is peak surveillance angle. He seems shady. What's he up to? I got my thinking cap on you guys. So telling of his character. Look at how we join him. Wow, extreme, extreme close-ups in this movie already. You made a breakfast? I can't, I'm eating Bosco. Hey, Vincent. I can't. Lady the Portman. It's all right, it's all right. We'll find them together, you and me will find them. It feels way too quiet for me. What's about to happen, you guys? What's your name? Wayne Bro. Wayne? Wayne Bro? <laughs> it sounds like Wayne Bro. 100%. Right on schedule. Oh. Made a right on Venice Boulevard. Danny Trejo? I'm gonna say Pacino's LAPD because I saw him grab that gun and. 100 yards from you now. Get set. I but I don't know what these guys are plotting.
Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake now. Whew. Oh. Do they want this to happen? Do they want to have to start shooting cops? This is bad. Oh god. Ugh. What did you was making a move? Oh. oh my god. I'm like. <laughs> okay, destroy that. Got it. Clean job, except for all the dead cops. What do I need his score for? I got my own. It says it's clean in low eight figures. What happened out there? Don't ask. Don't ask. Ooh, I think they're gonna be adversaries. I think De Niro is gonna get caught by Pacino. Right? Is that a good guess, guys? I wish you could tell me. Stolen out of Fresno two weeks ago. The yellow pickup truck out of Whittier day before yesterday. This look like gangbangers working the local 7-Eleven to you. Robbery homicides take you. This look like the local gangbangers? Because they had no time because they were on a clock, which means they knew our response time to a 2 11. You recognize the MO? MO is that they're good. Why leave a living witness? Drop of a hat, these guys will rock and roll. These guys are good. We knew it. Get your hand out of that man's pocket, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Get your hand out of the man's pocket, Rachel. <laughs> these guys look shady. <laughs> I'm like, I'd, I'd be like, who are you? <laughs> oh, De Niro. You're so fucking cool. I think Pacino and De Niro have like this like calm about them. It's just like, they're like, you come to me. I had to get it on. <laughs> oh. I knew they messed up. Oh my gosh. They're gonna goodfellas him. They're gonna trunk him. Oh my God, there's a cop right there. Oh my god. I'm like, phew. Now I can kill him. Val Kilmer looks like a vampire. I was gonna say, I hear the ocean. It ain't worth the risks you take for 8,000. Like in risk versus reward, baby. Let's go. Oh, I was like, is that Katherine Heigl? No, that's Ashley Judd. What am I doing in this rat bastard situation? You're not! What do you want from me? Ugh. I hate that kind of anger. When you have to destroy things in your wake because you're so pissed off. Get it together, bro. Lauren's dad show up? Definitely not. Didn't I? Also, guys, I haven't seen Godfather 2, but I'm pretty sure... They're in Godfather 2 together, right? De Niro and I think I know who they both play. What are you reading? We'll have to do Godfather 2 on the channel. What kind of work you do? Uh -huh. Criminal. None of your business. If you don't want to talk to me, it's okay. Sorry I bothered you. I work in metals. I'm a salesman. My name's Neil. Neil. Yeah, I went to Parsons. Oh, what was that? New York City. How long have you been in here? Oh, now he's all curious about Edie. Where are you from? The Bay Area. Well, my mother died a long time ago. My father, I don't know where he is. I just laugh so hard when I think of Pichy, um, De Niro's voice. And he's like, the Bay Area. It's like, bro, you're from New York. <laughs> Alone, I am not lonely. You? Important distinction. I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Look at these close-ups. Every time we're doing romance, we get in close-up. <sighs> I can never get behind the age difference, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just like, she's attracted to him. Why? How? Explain. Explain. 
Gotta go commit some crimes, baby. See ya. <laughs> You're wasting my motherfucking time. Listen, man, look. You fall in love? Come on. He'll probably leave a note right on the door. Tonight's the best I can do for you, man. He's good. You good know? song. It's really good. Things to do. I got, I got places to be. I got to be there. Whew, what has Vincent got his hand in now? You want 100,000 advance against a 10% cut for that? Uh-huh. 12.1, 12.2 million. I'm going to kill the sons of bitches. Have Harry bring me the spreadsheets for Canary Islands offshore. We are involving so many people. I'm getting so nervous that I'm not going to keep them straight. Um, I'm wondering if something tells me this is they're going to be their last operation. Low eight figures. Charlene's going to leave me. Because you angry. Remember Jimmy McElwain on the yard used to say you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner. The heat. For me, the sun rises and sets with her, man. Right. Treating her really well for that. What about the platinum thing next week of fall? That goes to Vendor Bank. Want some breakfast? This place like a safe house. It looks like it's like in Malibu. Pierce, my parole officer told me to come by here since you had a job for me. Twenty-five percent of your take-home kicks back to me. Rules of the game. Why? Get out. Change in the back. Twenty-five percent of your take-home goes back to me. Malibu Equity and Investments. Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Malibu. I freaking knew it. I know the most useless information ever, you guys. Eight one eight one three three six zero eight nine. He didn't even wait to confirm it. You know when you make the other person on the other side repeat it back. <laughs> now repeat it back. There's a drive-in on Sentinella, two thirty tomorrow. Okay, just send one man along. She does have a side piece. That's not cool. Only he's allowed to have a side piece. Oh, see about threatener. <sighs> you will give Chris one last shot. Then I will finance setting you up myself on my own, any way you want. Clean up, go home. I guess he's really looking out for his buddy, but ugh. You're looking to rid yourself of your competition. Hmm? A good citizen. <laughs> I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> on the street, who's the next con? That's right. Well, I am over well. What do you want for that? A junior G-man badge? I am overwhelmed. You guys run makes on them. They got jackets. I want to see who they move and they sit with. I want it up and running by tomorrow night. Oof. We're cooking. We are cooking. Music's getting tense. Uh-oh. High stakes. High stakes. I'm feeling like I'm following you guys. I just want to report that. I'm just like, I'm taking pains to really pay attention. Oh my God. Behind you. On the right. There's somebody. Oh, he had a lookout. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I'm surprised. I'm like, yay, crime. <laughs> Phew, man. Nothing can ever just be easy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I sent a guy to deliver the package. He didn't call. Is everything right? <laughs> He's dead. What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. Dead man on the other end of this f line. Oh, shit. Get one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you are insane. At least they could buy her. <laughs> All the money they're stealing. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up, honey? <laughs> <laughs> A gangster. <laughs> oh, his girly. I was afraid that was just the one I 
it, you know? No, not for me it wasn't. He's about to get attached, people, and then he can't leave in 30 seconds flat when the when he sees the heat. Or maybe he will leave her at the end. We gotta give him some stakes, you know? I see, I see the screenwriting. When these guys walk out the door, whatever score they're gonna take next, they're gonna have the surprise of a lifetime. Maybe waiting for him? Yeah, Vincent Ham. Is it gonna be the girl? They're gonna discover the girl in the motel room, maybe? That Mr. Longhair killed? Because he's bored? Ugh. How old? 16, 17. Been here about six hours. That's how old she was? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I really like that, the hug, keeping her back, but the hug. That guy is getting so sloppy. Oh my God. And De Niro, it was named Neil, is going to kill him. You never told me I'd be excluded. He's always chewing gum. But you have got to be present like a normal guy some of the time. That's sharing. This is not sharing. This is leftovers. I see. What I Ooh, good. That's good. This isn't sharing leftovers. I'm not good at meeting people. You met me? Well, that happened without my thinking about it. Which is why, probably. They, like, almost got into a fight when she met him. Come with me. No, babe. Here you go. Let me think about it. Something. Give me, give me a, let me think about it, girl. Yay, Natalie Portman's back. We still don't know who her father is. Come on, I drive you home. Hey, Mike. Okay, we've got a lot of balls in the air right now. I'm like, I'm juggling. You are watching me juggle. But they're taking their time. And there's all these like dashes for me where they're resting the business. So we're kind of getting them professional life, personal life, professional life, personal life. And really getting to know these people. Oh my God. Was that on purpose? He faced the camera the whole time and backed in. Just hold it, Captain. Vincent, he's not carrying anything. Yeah, I see. Both of them are not carrying anything. Don't got him. Can't get him. This is my operation. I have tactical command that supersedes your rank. They will walk away and you will let them. Smart. Such geniuses. I wonder if I could do that job. You guys know my toxic trait is I always think I could do everything. I'm like, hmm, can I be an underground criminal? Maybe. LAPD, gee, what? Where the f*** does heat come from? Maybe it's a score they're on to. Now I get it with heat, the title. Heat. The bank is worth the risk. I need it, brother. Do. I got plans. I'm going away after. So for me, the reward is maybe worth the stretch. Let's start making bets. Does he make it to New Zealand? This is very Godfather in that, like, he's like, let's get out. Let's get out what we can. Get out of the business. But we know how these end. You can never get out. Carolina three years ago, oh, you go to work for us. Cut and dried. That is it. They're recruiting him? What? Why'd I get mixed up with that bitch? Because she got a great ass. <sighs> and you got your head. Great ass. <laughs> it's a perfect line reading. I, no one could do better. Cool locations. Worth noting their anamorphic lenses because I see that bendy quality, I think. You know what they're looking at? What? Us. The LAPD. Get down. <laughs> okay, motherfucker. Wow, now it gets interesting. Now it's fun. 
As if it wasn't already fun. His name Vincent. I just made this decision. Got him. It's worth the stretch. Let's go to the garage. Oh, yep. Anamorphic lenses. That's our tell. You guys see the lens flare? That looks like a beam. Where are we going? We. The dishes aren't going to kill you, buddy. You can do them. Okay, have one of them pick me up at the Vermont on ramp. He went back out tonight to get in a helicopter? Damn. Am I 100 uh, yards or what? Am I close or far or what? 300 yards, center lane. What's he gonna get him on? Speculation. How you doing? What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Follow me. I'm like, would I go? He's trying to retire and go to New Zealand. You're looking to go back? You know, I chased down some crews, guys just looking to f up, get busted back. Look at them. Both in the same scene together, an hour and a half in. You see me doing throat seeker liquor store holdups with a born to lose tattoo on my chest? No, I do not. I am never going back. It's the De Niro squint with the head tilt. I do what I do best. I do what I do best. So you never wanted a regular type life? Right? Is that barbecues and ball games? What is that? <laughs> barbecues and ball games? Don't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around a corner. That's it. How do you expect to keep a, a marriage? Oh, that's an interesting point. What are you, a monk? <laughs> it's that or we both better go do something else, pal. I don't know how to do anything else. Neither do I. I don't much want to either. Neither do I. Whoa. Cool, right, guys? I love them together. I have one where I'm drowning. And I gotta wake myself up and stop breathing while I die in my sleep. You know what that's about? I'm like, crippling anxiety. And now that we've been face to face, if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, you are going down. That's fair, I think. What if you do got me boxed in and I gotta put you down? But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. Or maybe we'll never see each other again. I don't know, you guys. I, I hope we get one more standoff between the two of them face to face at the end of this. And it's you or me, buddy. I think that's the kind of movie. They dumped all our surveillance. Yeah. At the same time, 9 p.m. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. We were on you. Then Macaulay drives into LAX where surveillance can't fly over because of flight paths. Wow, that's genius. Hang out by LAX, can't can't be surveilled. Who are you? My name's Wayne Grow. I've been living in this office day and night. How well do you know him? Pretty well. You recognize the grill man? Aw. We did meet him. Use the landline. Call me at 1037. Loving all the payphone work in this movie. Ten out of ten. So fun. I can't double. I can try to dump him again. How are we gonna know if you did? Last thing I wanna do is let you down. Puts it down gently. <laughs> oh, this is real cat and mouse game. It's like getting tense. They've had coffee together. Like, oh my God, this is insane. What I'm doing is I'm looking for a driver up in Hague now today. Do you remember the drill? Oof. One answer, yes or no, right now. Yeah, man. You won't. Oh no. This is bad. He misses the thrill of the chase. Where do you think you're going? He could have just said I quit, guys, right? Oh my god, in broad frickin' daylight. They put the masks on after their surveillance cameras got all their faces. Like, why would they do that? Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Unless they killed the cameras. But they put the masks on, like, late, right? Get out! Get out! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> right now, I want you to sit on the floor and put your hands on your head. What, what, key? <laughs> what key? Oh, you know the key, sir. Please. Yikes, took his shirt off. <laughs> Ooh, a duffel. Put your hands down! Got so De Niro just has to get out of the US before he gets got on this thing. 
Right? He's, everyone has seen him. Vincent. Vinny, this is your boy. I still think I can do this job. I'd be great. Don't make me the getaway car driver. I'm a good driver, but I won't be aggressive enough. <laughs> Comment below what position you want in the heist. <gasps> That's him. Get down. I'm so tense. I'm so tense. I'm eating my lip. Oh. Right on all these people. Are they gonna get him right now? Right now? Hour left in the movie? a lot it's so loud <laughs> some freaking massacre <sighs> that's a wrap on Val Kilmer right oh that's horrible. Swiss cheese. I'm like in disbelief right now that there was just that much shooting. Oh, he's holding a kid. That girl is gonna need a lot of therapy. Coppers and kids, police and armed robbers. Excuse me, uh, bartender. I'm gonna go with you. Oh, her guy is gone. What can I get you, Mitch? Also, full gunshot wounds during the extensive gunfire between police and. Oh, I told him. Told him. <laughs> I thought he was All right, dead. All right. All right. He's gonna pull through? Get out of town. Get out. My daughter gave it to me. It's a father. I'm gonna give a Gave it to you. Take it off. Not a sentimental guy. Mm, he's out. Wayne Grow. On his own. Did you say anything about how we're getting out? Don't leave me like this. Cut him out. I don't want to see it. Okay. Cool. Cut away. Whew. So when he was like, uh, there's cops on my tail, he was lying. He just clearly got beat for information. This is so intense. <laughs> I can't with the eyes. This Weasley motherfucker. <laughs> that was good. Where is he? How the hell would I know? Oh. So what now? Well, he's right. Cause she wants out. This is out. She wants out, but doesn't isn't she in trouble for knowing for knowing what she's known all these years and not reporting it? One answer. What's it going to be? Selling him out. Let's go. We're set here. She'll make the call. You, Benny, has reformed his wayward life and become a born-again good citizen. <laughs> Wango just got himself a suite at the airport marquee under the name Jameson because maybe Neil will go for him. Damn, Wango was the problem from the jump. Tried to kill him, couldn't. He got away, and now he's the issue, which is crazy. We gotta go together. Those, those other people were with you? You know the risk, you don't have to be there. Ranger, you're wet. Girl, get away from him. Biddy. Biddy. What makes you think she wanted to go with you after that, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> It'll be alright. No, it's not. 
go. Ooh, she had to leave him, not him leaving her. Vincent. This is my friend, Ralph. You didn't tell me you were... Friend. You know, you can ball my wife if she wants you to. Not get to watch my television set. Mm, good. I may be stoned on grass and Prozac, but you've been walking through our life dead. She got him. She really got him. He's like, I have nothing else to say to that. It was Chris. He's gone. It's a free country, brother. He walked. Oof. Wrapping it up, fam. I almost said friends and then I said fam, so I was like, fam. <laughs> she is still here? Girl, go. Edie, get out of town. Tell me she goes with him, I swear to God. This was, a, this was a nice girl. You know, she was nice. She had everything going for her. A boring job in LA. <laughs> Come on, sugar, show yourself. Yeah, do it. Shut up! Do it. She's gotta make the call. She gonna do it? Damn. Oh, he loves her. It's not him. It's not Chris. Take him at the street and check him out. Oof. Chris? Yeah. This guy's John Peterson. Valid ID. Let him go. Roger. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. <laughs> How are they doing this? <laughs> How are they still getting away with things? Oh my god. This is reminding me of how I felt when I watched it, The Departed. Nothing's going on. Wango went for ice. That's it. They're gonna lose them all again. <laughs> what do we got? Bon voyage, mother I'm going to the hotel. Whoa. He is giving up. He's like, I'm done. That's it. I'm done. Is Neil gonna be in his room so they can have another coffee together, another face off? This movie, man. Oh my god. It's like an epic. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> that was shocking. Did not see that coming. I got you, baby. We are. I need two units O negative now. Let's type So hard to look at. But I'm like, that's Natalie Portman, so I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> she does go on to do Star Wars. It's alright. It's gonna be alright. Whoa, what a night for all this to come to a head, right? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> she kills me. Yeah, you want it checked into the hotel marquee under Jameson if you still give it. Which I figured you wouldn't. You figured right. So, so long, brother. Checked in under Jameson. We just got away, baby. I don't know. I don't think he gets away. I'll be right back. Leave a run. That's the big finale, guys. This is a big finale. He couldn't just ride off. No way. It's kind of how he started the movie with that uniform, fake EMT. Work beckons. I'm not what you want, Justine. Just be careful. Call me here. Let me know you're okay. Who's it, who's it gonna be, guys? Who lives, who dies? That's a song from Hamilton. <sighs> I don't wanna think about Vincent dying, but he might die. We have to evacuate all the floors. I can't leave here. He knows that voice, come on. 
Can't even disguise it. <gasps> that was so intense. Look at me. Look at me. Couldn't just couldn't just ride off into the sunset. Needed Look to come back me. to get the guy who wronged you. Ego, ego, ego. <sighs> That's what I believe we learned on the playground. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Wingro is like Judas. He betrayed him. Does he know about who she is? Does he know Edie? Guess who, bitch? Get in the car, De Niro. Get in the car. Guys, what is he thinking? Oh, Edie. Go home, girl. This is kind of how Departed ended. Like, it was them two in a isolated area. Come on, Pacino, where you at, bro? I, I love living in this moment before of like what happens. Like, who is it going to be? I said De Niro kills Pacino, but De Niro gets arrested after, shortly thereafter. Nope. Other way around. Shan Shan. He's a man on a mission. Look at that extreme close up. Son of a bitch got me. All because he had to go back and get Wayne Grow. Told you I'm never going back. Yeah. Neil was the one bragging, I won't hesitate. And Vincent was like, neither will I, bro. <laughs> That's a wrap. And that triumphant score kicks in. Damn. That felt really epic. See you in a minute. Whoa, Heat from 1995. I have now seen it. Holy, holy shit. Yeah, that's like kind of one of the top five best heist films of all time, right? Like, I'm saying top five because I've probably seen five. <laughs> That is right up there with me with the Godfathers and the Goodfellas and the Departeds and the, what was the last one I was gonna say? Terminator, Terminator's not a heist film. I think I, what I wanna say is I really like a cat and mouse game. I like a cat and mouse chase. I like, it's like a neither can live while the other survives sort of prophecy. That's from Harry Potter. Yeah, I mean, this is just like an epic, epic tale. Pretty psyched that we do get the two hours and 50 minutes because as freaked out as I was to have to sit here that long, you need it to unfold at this pace, this way you get to know everybody, you get to know their personal life, who they love, who they hate, who they'll die for. It was very compelling to have Pacino and De Niro together. Kind of cool that we pretty much only get that one scene where they're face to face drinking coffee and then it's like, who's gonna get whom? It's satisfying, you know, this is a really satisfying movie. So writer director Michael Mann, I'm sure I still have more to see in this realm. I've got to see. I'm even looking at the more like this at the bottom. Scarface, Casino, LA Confidential, Snatch, Taxi Driver, I've got to see. I've seen The Departed. Yeah, I've got to see Godfather Part 2 to see Pacino De Niro again. So just all in all, tight. A tight, tight film. Let's look at some trivia. I think I'm going to not go too intense with the trivia. All of my notes were for my comprehension. <laughs> 
Okay. Rather than dubbing the gunshots during the bank robbery shootout, Michael Mann had microphones carefully placed around set so the audio could be captured live. This added to the impact of the scene because it sounded like no other gunfight shown on screen. I agree. This was the loudest gunfight of my life. It like ricocheted. It was echoey. It didn't sound muted and done in a sound booth, let me tell you. Pacino said on the special edition DVD that for the scene in the restaurant between Hannah and Macaulay, Robert De Niro felt like the scene should be not rehearsed so that the unfamiliarity between the two characters would seem more genuine. Michael Mann agreed and shot the scene with no practices. Cool. Very cool. Kevin Gage, actor, was in prison for two years in 2003. He was universally addressed by fellow inmates as Wayne Grow. <laughs> That's funny. In the director's commentary, Michael Mann noted Pacino improvised because she's got a great ass. I think I was very taken by that line delivery. It felt explosive and the way impulse feels, it felt unplanned. But I could never know for sure. And here we are. Hank Azaria confirmed it, saying Al Pacino's unexpected outburst scared the hell out of me and that his look of shock was not acting at all. Filmed entirely without a single sound stage. That's cool to know. Wow, this movie has been shown to professionals. Val Kilmer's scene where he rapidly changes his magazine when he runs out of bullets is regularly shown to marine recruits and is as an example of how to perform the action properly and then um it says in june of 2002 the scene involving the shootout after the bank robbery was shown to united states marine recruits at mcrd san diego as an example of the proper way to retreat under fire how crazy the coffee shop scene sold de niro on the idea of making the film cool oh awesome for the restaurant sequence michael mann ran two cameras simultaneously in order to generate a greater level of fluidity between both rivals since there was no rehearsals for the scene this approach afforded both men a more generous margin for improvisational experimentation yes that's really cool basically instead of just shooting me and then flipping the camera around and shooting my scene partner they ran two cameras on each of them and that's awesome because if someone does improvise you've already got their scene partner's reaction and you don't need to recreate the circumstances of an improvised line and try to get that reaction or worse of all miss the reaction that you need and then you can't use the line because i've been there and it sucks during the famous bank robbery gunfight man directed the actors portraying the police to aim deliberately and only fire their rifles in the semi-automatic mode. This showed that the police were taking care not to hit bystanders. By contrast, the robbers, concerned only with their own safety, fired their weapons on full automatic, striking several bystanders in the process. That was a freaking bloodbath. In addition, the weapons accessible to detectives would normally be semi-automatic only. Pacino and De Niro were Michael Mann's first choices for Hannah Moncali. Al Pacino had a full facelift before filming began. Really? Is that true? Pacino does not look like he has a facelift, let me tell you. Ooh, I didn't know it was implied Ashley Judd was a prostitute. It says while researching her role, Ashley Judd met several, several former prostitutes who became housewives. Was that just implied? I don't really know if I got that from the movie. I thought as much. In Godfather Part Two, they don't have a scene together, Pacino and De Niro. In this movie, they have two scenes together, a total of less than 10 minutes. I want to go to budget. I want to call this a 80, 75 to $80 million movie. Being that it's 95, let's go, it's a $70 million movie. $60 million movie. I need to adjust down when we're looking 30 years ago now at this rate. Worldwide, $187 million. So, pretty cool. Filming locations are all over Los Angeles, California, which we knew. No Academy Awards. Okay, I didn't have much to look up about that. I would have loved to have known more about Michael Mann's script writing process, but there isn't much on that in the trivia. I'd like to know how long it took him, how many pages the screenplay was, you know, because this is just an epic, epic story in an epic script. The critics love it. It's on a lot of people's best movies of all time list. The rich characterizations come because we are given time. Where else do we have nearly three hours to get to know these people? It's kind of rare. So, Okay, I feel really good about that. So you've seen my reaction to Heat from 1995. So now I want to hear from you. Comment below what I missed. I'm sure there's tons of facts you guys can tell me because this trivia section was light for me. Let me know what you thought of this. Did you cash it in 95? Did it blow your mind right away? I'm really interested in 1995. I would have left the theater just being like, oh my goodness. Like that was like Godfather status. And that means a lot. Like when I'm comparing something to The Godfather, I'm like, that's a great movie, you know? If you want more from me or to see my full length to this, you should definitely join me on Patreon. Please and thanks. It is so much fun over there. Link in the description box below. Other ways to support me below. Give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate you. And of course, on that note, I'm gonna go eat.